Well, you see how that worked out, don't you? Uh, hello, everybody. Wish I could say Happy Thanksgiving, uh, but I'm not going to do that. I did feel that I should uh, bring you a little something because you give so much to me and the others. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how I started my day. Obviously, I, I could give a fuck. Uh, Hair's a mess, sweatpants. I, I'm not. I'm not willing to comply with this holiday. I'm not. I'm not happy with this holiday, uh, well most of them for that matter, but we'll address this one only. Started the day off by uh, coming back and sharing some love with uh, Linda and Kenny over here. You guys might have seen this video, if not I, I would hope that you will. But I sat my kids down too, you'll see right here. Uh, he misspelled it. It's supposed to say this, but uh, is Isaac, Jojo, and Zach, Kevin's kids. Thank you. Because uh, I wanted them to have an understanding of, uh, you know, the lie that we live in, so that they'll make some changes. And then uh, I was talking to my mother, who kind of has the same attitude towards Thanksgiving I do. We, we see the, the breakdown in society, and families been erased, and people lie to themselves while they gorge on a bunch of food um, you know that probably half of it puts their health at risk and it just doesn't make sense even to her and, she, and she's not a truther by any means doesn't even watch the news uh, she, she just but she has a sixth sense so I told her about the story that Ken, Kenny and Linda shared and she was horrified she was horrified and she didn't doubt it at all it, we can't take part in this. See everybody running around screaming, wanting change, and then rushing to the store to buy a turkey that's probably fed GMO corn. Who knows? Uh, anyway, I don't want to seem like I'm not thankful. See, I'm one of those guys that finds reason to give some kind of thanks somewhere, at least to one person or, or something every day. So I don't need a day like today. I can be as miserable as fuck, and it, it's just another day it doesn't I, I'm not uh, yeah we'll have a meal with friends later uh, roommates nothing big we're not even going anywhere not 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 willing to comply with this it, it's foolishness um, rather spend time doing this trying to wake you up before it all goes to hell now last night you guys uh, may have been with me when um, I did the live show about new Bethany's girls home and that was a, a miracle. Um, just after the show, one of the survivors had found out about the show and called in. And thanks to Jim Funky of Boiler Room Radio, the next host, he let her uh, tell her story. And um, I'll get that audio and get it up to you guys. Also, uh, want to encourage you to go listen to last night's show. And also... Um, over here the blog uh, because like I said last night on the radio show and uh, Mr. Ford if you didn't listen to the show and if you haven't seen the Facebook post I'm gonna say it here on YouTube now Mac W Ford I will not relent until you and everyone like you everyone connected to you are in prison or you die first which we can only hope for at this point but actually I'd rather see you serve justice there's going to be other actions taken, and I'm going to, uh, the next update on this issue will come through my blog at the website. So if you were affected by New Bethany, Mac Ford, or if you have information about them, please come over here and subscribe to the blog and expect within the next week um, uh, some indication of where some of us are going to go next with this. And uh, for any of you that have skills of finding information, please reach out to me. We need to make the connections between Mac Ford, the local police, politicians, uh, lawyers that like to get pedophiles off, things of that nature. 
you know, follow the money, right? Anyway, much love, many thanks. I'm going to link you to this. This is the archive for the shows. Come on over here and listen to last night's show. As soon as I get uh, what I was told is about a 30-minute statement from a survivor, I'll put that up here on YouTube. Link to the blog will be below. Link to Kenny and Linda's video about the real story of Thanksgiving. If you haven't watched this, you need to. Go over there and give uh, Linda a like and a subscription. And uh, I'll give you guys a link to the Master of Many Things fan page. This is dedicated to the radio shows now and it also hosts the photo album for Op Stop the Bullshit and Assault the Media. Once in a while I'll put some other urgent information on there but basically it's dedicated to the radio shows. Um, and I've set a goal for this for 5,000 likes by the first of the year. Cranking up there to just over 900 so much love to everybody that shares that. Anyway, uh, enjoy your day but please reflect on what I, what I just said to you. Um, should be thankful every day. Should be getting together with your community to have meals on a regular basis. It's just this day represents the slaughter of people that cared about this land and were here long before we were. And uh, I, I can't celebrate that. I, I wasn't consulted in that. I, I didn't take part in that, nor would I. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon. Got to put your body on the gears of the